Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Now what? What's up? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. How do you deal with all this? I'm a natural survivor. Tough marriage and... an even tougher divorce will do that to you. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up on all of us just yet. If we stick together, we will make it out of this mess. I'm not sure about that. You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John. Are you okay? Feels like Angela's constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was... really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts 
whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. You all done with poking around? We should catch up with the professor. He didn't stop to give any lectures here, did he? What kind of place is this? Professor? <gasps> there you are. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. What the hell was that in there? It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? What am I? In second grade? He's right. Get over yourself and move on. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with.
Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't <laughs> strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be gone. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please. No, let me. 
let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. Over here, look at this. <laughs> that campaign didn't work out too well. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. 
Will do. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Angela? How the hell? Back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Sooner will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There's talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. 
I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not gonna believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that double stuff, but maybe not. To me, it looked like they were married. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. <laughs> 